Hello, I'm Dr. Rami Arno, and along with my colleague, Dr. Nitin Kaushik, we would like to give you a brief overview about our manuscript, Reduction of Turnaround Time Decreases Emergency Room Length of Stay. Long ED stays can have profound consequences such as avoidable medical errors, negative impact on patient outcomes, and higher mortality. ED length of stay directly impacts rates of inpatient admission and hospital length of stay and can add to the overall burden on the hospital system. Laboratory tests are an important contributor to treatment decisions in the emergency department, impacting the appropriate triage and discharge of patients. Rapid turnaround time of laboratory tests has the potential to improve patient outcomes and lead to increased efficiencies, such as reduced wait times for patients and reduced crowding for the provider. Despite evidence supporting the effect of shorter turnaround time on length of stay and outcomes, there is still a lack of large retrospective studies examining these associations. Here, we evaluated the effect of a reduction in laboratory turnaround time on ED length of stay using retrospective analysis of electronic health records. By way of this study, we sought to address this gap and test our hypothesis that lab turnaround time and emergency department length of stay are positively correlated. We conducted two related but distinct studies. The first was a retrospective analysis of emergency department encounters from over 400 hospitals using a large US-based de-identified EHR database. In this first study, we observed a positive correlation between laboratory turnaround time and length of stay in the emergency department. Multivariate regression analysis of patient level data uh, showed that a 10 minute decrease in laboratory turnaround time was on average associated with five minutes of decreased length of stay. Encouraged by our initial findings, we conducted a more refined study using patient-level EHR and laboratory data from the Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center Emergency Department. In this study, we were able to include important information about the acuity or severity of patient illness that allowed us to segment the data based on four levels of acuity. The study at Beth Israel confirmed our initial findings from the multi-site analysis, further supporting our hypothesis that there exists a positive correlation between laboratory turnaround time and length of stay in the emergency department population as a whole, as well as across different levels of acuity. We report positive correlation coefficients, all significant for patients with acuity levels one through four. To better quantify the impact of reduced lab turnaround time, we also generated an efficiency model using the findings from our single site study. The model captures a differential impact of laboratory turnaround time within each level of patient acuity to calculate a hypothetical cumulative annual length of stay reduction and change in patient throughput. For a minimal five minute reduction in turnaround time, we calculated total annual length of stay reduction to be 519 hours at Beth Israel, sufficient for an additional 127 patients seen per year. Even a very modest decrease in the laboratory turnaround time can have an appreciable impact on the length of stay in the emergency department. We hope a study such as this will highlight the importance of efficient laboratory practices and solutions to optimize workflows in the emergency department. Thank you.